Hi everyone, this is Richard Carlton. We're here at the Developer Conference in Arizona. I'm here with... Jesse Barnum from 360 Works. Yeah, and Jesse has been showing us all the amazingly cool new products that he has. Really helps the FileMaker community solving some important problems that we have. One question I have is that you said that you've updated MirrorSync. Now, yeah. MirrorSync, for those of you who don't know, is his syncing software where you have like offline users on iPads and things, the most typical use case, right? Yes. And then last year we shot a video where you'd upgraded it so you could actually do this kind of clustering type of activity server, where you could have a, yeah. a database on multiple servers. And because it's on multiple servers, then you can support more people simultaneously. That totally blew my mind. Cool. Right? Thank you. And and people are using that successfully. Yes. And so they are using the kind of this limited clustering kind of capability, yes. right? Yes. And uh, the failover and all that kind mm -hmm. of. So I'm going to put a link here in the video somewhere. Somewhere in the video that you're seeing here, you will see a link so you can visit the old video. That information is all current. So, but what's the newest feature that we have this year? So I'm I'm going to be showing MirrorSync 4, and we've got one headline new feature in MirrorSync 4, which is support for new version updates. Support uh, for new version updates. So what does that files and the op So what does that mean? So a question that we've always that we've got a lot of is. Okay, this is great. Mirror sync is nice. All of my users can sync their data. They can sync updates, inserts, changes, both directions, conflict resolution. That all works really well. What happens when we make programming changes on the hosted file? We add scripts. We add tables. We add fields. We change things. We add reports. All of our offline users are still running the offline copy that they had from months ago that doesn't have all of those things in it. Right, right, so, right. So now that sounds similar to the, another video we shot just a little bit ago about the deploy, exactly. right? Exactly, 360 deploy. That's kind of our theme for DevCon this year is managing versions. These are two different products for managing versions in different scenarios. 360 yeah. deploy is really for any sort of traditional environment where you need to get a new version up on your FileMaker server. MirrorSync 4 is also about version management, but it's very specific to MirrorSync so that you can deliver new versions of your of your solutions to your offline syncing users. Okay, so the deploy is really for a like a production server and a development server and then hitting a button and it just updates. And we have another video I'm going to put in a link here. So we have that, but then this is for deploying a new version to our mobile users who are largely disconnected from the internet somehow. You're right, they're working out in the field, they've got their iPads and their iPhones. With MirrorSync 3, it wasn't terrible, but when you would make, finish your development changes, you would need to notify your users via an, an email or something like that and ask them to please use this download URL to get a new version of their database. And right. You would need to have a little bit of technical knowledge to know how to like delete their old version and replace it with the new version. And it got the job done, but it wasn't necessarily super easy for unknowledgeable users. Okay, so show us here, take a switch to the screen here and show All us right. this. So here I've got my hosted database file on my left. This is my server copy. Okay. And here we're going to pretend that this is an iPad or an iPhone right. running offline. And I've got the sync all set up. I can run the sync and I'm not really making any changes, so nothing's happening there. Right, right. Uh, you know, I could do whatever I wanted and uh, I could put you in here and I can run my sync. And this goes from my offline file to my mm -hmm. server. It's very fast. That took half a second. So this is our traditional behavior of MirrorSync, what we've seen. Yeah, everything Mirrors I'm showing you right now is the same as it was in MirrorSync 3. Okay, great. So now I'm going to show you what's new in MirrorSync 4. Okay. I'm going to come over to this screen, and I'm going to make some programming changes to, to my database. All I'm going to do right now is I'm just going to change the theme to save some time and just show something that's visible. Now, it could be a, we could be adding a field. Could be adding fields, we could, be, could be adding tables. Could we could change scripts. Change scripts. All, all that, that kind of stuff. stuff. Yes. If we're adding fields, then it is necessary to run through the MirrorSync configuration right here, edit it, and just go through the screens in order, which doesn't take long at all. And we just click OK on everything. Uh -huh. It picks up all of our new fields. It adds them to the import or to the sync script. And then at the very end of the process, we recopy our scripts, we paste it into our right, right, right. file, and we're done. That's if we're adding a field. That's if we're adding a field. If we're not adding a field, we don't have to do that. We don't have to do any of that Okay. Stuff. So what I've done in this case is I have just made layout changes. Okay. So I don't need to do any of that. And I want to get these layout changes to my offline users. You want to push the new version up to everyone. Right. And I might have a chart on here. I might have stuck some web viewers on here. Might might have done all sorts of stuff. And so now my offline users I'm going to click sync here. 
and there's no changes and nothing happens. So that seems kind of boring. That's the same yep. thing. This is what we would have had happen in Mirror Sync 3. Right. Now with Mirror Sync 4, there's a new field that gets added to the Mirror Sync table right here called database version. Ah, Notice okay. that it's 3.1. It could be anything. It could be text. It could be number. I don't really care what it is. I'm going to change it. Uh -huh. It doesn't matter if the number's higher or lower or even if it's a number. It just right. needs to change to something. Right. So I change it to 3.2. That's the only change I need to make on my development file to flag Mirror Sync to let it know oh. that there's a new version waiting for the offline user Very cool. the next time that they sync. Very cool. So now I'm going back and I'm my offline user again, and I run my sync. I'll go ahead and create a new record in here. I'll put myself so I can have some data changes. By the way, this is cool. All right. So that added one record. Uh, took 0.3 seconds. So far, everything looks the same, but now I get this new dialog that I didn't have before. Ooh, would you like the new version? It's a new database version available named 3.2. Would you like to replace your current offline file with this version? First thing I want to point out is that we can click not yet. If we're yeah. in a hurry, if we're on a low-speed connection, uh, if we're not sure whether these changes are fully debugged, anything like that, we don't have to update. Okay. This is the user's choice. I can hit OK, and now we automatically will download a new version and Bam, we're done. Okay. This is a new version. We've got our changes. Notice our new theme with our yep. new color scheme. Uh, and now this file is ready to go. We can run the sync and proceed on. Yep. Uh, I want to point out that, that at no point in that did we need to have a separate file on our iPad. So I've seen some other... Uh, I've seen some other approaches for doing this. They all involve having a separate launcher file or management file right. that's loaded on your iPad. This is a single file solution. You only need this one file to be on your iPad. Wow. And when the update runs, we dynamically generate a new file and we do a bunch of voodoo with on timers to manage the process between switching back and forth. So it works great with mobile devices. Absolutely. Okay, so iPhone or iPad work great mm -hmm. and a single file and it would update and push down. Yep. Wow. Very cool. Um, that's it. That's the headline thing in, in Mirror Sync 4. Mirror Sync 4 is part of our, it's, it's on a maintenance program. Yep. So if you have Mirror Sync 3, then you'll get this for free as long as your maintenance is current. You know, you get 12 months of maintenance from the date that you purchased the product. Okay. So if you bought it in the last 12 months, then you get this for free. If you bought it more than 12 months ago, then you got it as long as you've renewed your maintenance. Okay, great. Now, is this part of the portfolio or is this not part of the portfolio? This is part of the portfolio. But tell us about the portfolio real quick. So the portfolio bundle is $1,995. And what does that get you? It includes an enterprise version of pretty much all of our products. Okay. In the case of Mirror Sync, it includes 10 devices. Ten devices. Okay. So okay. yeah, anyone who has the portfolio license already has this feature. Okay. And by the way, uh, if you're an FBA member, you should contact us because we have very dis discounted pricing for FBA members for their own in-house non-client use. Yeah. So if you're actually part of FileMaker's developer program and you've paid for that on an annual basis, then Jesse will extend to you a pretty good discount. Very good discount. Right. Awesome. Well, once again, great tools great improvements. If you have questions about the MirrorSync platform, obviously reach out to 360 or check out some of our previous videos where we talked about the previous versions and how they work and how they can uh, cluster and all the great things that they do. Yeah, I think we've done some videos before that really go into the setup process. So I kind of skipped over that for this video, but people could see that in one of your earlier videos. Great. All right, this is Richard Carlton live from FileMaker DevCon in Arizona. I'll catch you in the next video.